Hello everyone, this is Sister Roland and all I need is a few minutes to talk about this community post that I saw on YouTube while I was scrolling on my timeline because this is a YouTube channel. I, I have seen some of the content. So it, it was posted by Unbiased and Unbossed. So it says something to, to think about. And this is was a quote or maybe it was a interview, an excerpt from an interview that Lady Gaga did. So this is what it says. Some women choose to follow men and some women choose to follow their dreams. If you're wondering which way to go, remember that your career will never wake up and tell you that it doesn't love you anymore. <laughs> As I've always said, people speak from where they are and we don't know exactly what, you know, mind frame Lady Gaga was, what happened to her, what relationship she was in that didn't work out or whatever that she said this statement. And also with this person who posted this on that channel, on that community post, you know, where they are. But people, whatever the person is going through, and then specifically if they have influence in um, a platform, they put stuff out there that's out of the norm. Or not everybody's going, you know, not everybody has experienced that. You may have experienced a man leaving you when you thought he was going to stay, but that's not everybody's reality. People tend to like to push stuff and it, to make it seem like this is what's going to happen. If you don't follow your dreams, you go follow a man. This is what's going to be your, this is going to, this is what's going to happen to you. But last time I checked, let's take example uh, um, Jamie Foxx. Unfortunately, something terrible happened to him health wise. So I believe he has a show and they were in the middle of filming when whatever happened to him happened to him. And, you know, they gave it some, some time, but after a while he was replaced by Nick Cannon supposedly. And life, life goes on. Like, well, the show life goes on. So whatever your dreams or career is, as long as you're healthy, you know, because you can be replaced. And then when you are replaced, what do you have? But if you get the knowledge and you are able to vet people, especially if you're a woman, and you're able to, you can find a man that's worthy of following and who will not leave you. But we have a lot of women that have platforms and microphones that are loud that did not make the right choice, that some of them, not, not even the right choice, some of them just was were hurt by a man or men and that just changed their whole mind. And it could, be, it could be just from their father. It could be from an uncle. It could be from a grandfather. Some of them didn't even have a relationship and that just changed their ideology about men. And then they focus, they put all of their energy in their career or dreams or whatever it may be. But then do not get the knowledge that they need. And then counter her counterparts, the counterparts of this channel, what they do, what do they tell? Oh, you don't need a man. Just get a live in dick. You don't need a man. You could just get your toys. And then you do that. You do that. You're feeding lust, feeding lust. And those stuff, like I always say, can do only so much and then you're going to need the real thing and in getting the real thing that's how many of these ladies get caught up in certain relationships in certain situationships they shouldn't have been in but they don't know any better because you're, you're choosing either out of lust desperation frustration so i don't understand how these Things are supposed to help women. When w women are losing their lives. Like every single day. Every single day. But nobody knows. How to stop this. Or no, Some stuff can probably not be stopped. But at least it can be minimized. 
but that's not what's happening. We have a group of women that's pushing more hatred, more hatred. So you have the men that are pushing more hatred to women because you, if you're looking for content of what's women that's, of women that's doing stuff that's wrong, you're going to find a lot. Then you have women on the other hand, pushing more hatred for the men. <clears throat> and if you're looking for content of what men are doing wrong, you're going to find a whole lot. So there's like this back and forth. This hate, that's all they're doing. Or oh, hate them more. Look at these women. Look at what they're doing. Look at these men. Look at what they're doing. There's no trust. You can't trust no man. You can't follow no man. Just uh, uh, um, work on you. Work on, not work on you. You. They say work on you, but I don't understand what these working on you are supposed to do. And then they focus on their dreams and stuff like that. And then they look down on the opposite sex. You have men looking down on women. Women are only good for this. And you have men, then you have women looking down on men. Men are, this is a bunch of foolishness. And this is, this is not helping, period, at all. And it's a shame how people are using their influence. But like I say, every careless word, everything that you have done on this earth, whether you believe in God or not, you will answer for everything that you have said or done. You have influenced people to do. And there are people in the comments, oh, <clears throat> I'm going to work so I don't ever need a man. That's impossible. You will never not need a man. Wh whether you... You may not, you may not need him for a relationship, but you're going to need a man for something. You're going to need a man for something and you will never not need a woman. That's impossible. You're going to need a woman for something. Child. Anyway, that's all I had to say in this situation. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in another video. Bye.